I have one question for you and it does not have to be a short answer. You, you just, <laughs> you and I spent a lot of time in the booth in Vegas at ISSA and I watched you talking to people about how you use Swept. Oof. And I love that because it's like, you're not an owner of the company. You don't work in the company. You're someone who's used it and it's been successful with it, but you guys do it differently. And so many people want to learn from you. And so that's the question, like, how do you Swept? Like how, what is your process? How do you building and growing with Swept and how should other people be using it? Wow, yeah, so man, it's such a great question and it's, it's such a robust question for me only because I try to break things down and and analyze them and, and especially when it comes to s different technologies are used different ways. But when you mentioned Swept to me, I look at the meat and potatoes of just our janitorial uh, company. So mm. I'm a little biased on that because obviously I oversee the janitorial spaces, even though we have different uh, services that we provide. But when it comes to the operational janitorial software that we use, which is swept, um, and by the way, I'm not saying this is a toot your horn, but it is one of, actually, I know for a fact, it's the best janitorial operational software out there. Uh, yes, we become friends, you know, you know, over the years, but it is, is, it is a, for me, in my opinion, it's a genuine fact. Mm -hmm. So, and what we've been able to do is streamline processes streamline protocols um, along with real time stamp accountabilities of proven proven facts or or I should say maybe proven jobs that have been done um, to keep everybody on every level of management along mm -hmm. with the client accountable. Mm -hmm. So and in the industry right now, that's one of the biggest challenges that that people have is like, OK, if I clock in at five o'clock and I clock out and I'm done with the service at 10 p.m., so 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., what is going on through that night? What is the story of the night? What mm -hmm. is happening? So with the technology and SWEP, what we've been able to do is actually timestamp these tasks. And whatever the task may be, it could be cleaning a bathroom, or it could be doing a surface, or it could mm -hmm. be doing floors, whatever the case may be, is being able to prove that um, with a system that has allowed us to go ahead and hold every single but every single person accountable, and then being able to also provide that information not only to the team in real time but the client in real time. So if they ask you like, "Hey, by the way, uh, we had an issue last night, or I have an emergency right now," what stage or what process is your team currently at right now? This mm. moment, I have an emergency, or the alarm is going off. What stage are you in between mm. that five and ten p.m. Time frame, and we can literally just we don't even have to call anybody and you're able to go ahead and say oh yeah i know they're on step number five for example and for us step number five because we only have six is yeah they're doing all the floors oh okay cool so you can literally call them or if there's an emergency or anything like that you just ask two questions and it's what stage are what step are you on and is it done mm. um and then you can go ahead and assess and kind of either manage or do exactly what you what uh what needs to be done depending on what you know the issue is or concern might be. Mm. And what I believe has been very, very different, and I've actually been told this too, is that we do something very, very different. So, okay, so how do we do that? So we have something that's called the six steps to success. And what that allowed us to do is to really, really fine tune a system that allows us to use your technology. Yeah. So with those two pieces, you have almost like the scope of work, right? So you have the scope of work, which is kind of like the system of what you have to do, okay? Well, if that's done in a timely manner, your technology proves and also holds everybody accountable for that time frame to do it in a successful time frame, meaning, yeah. right? So that's what we've been able to do. So time stamping these tasks has allowed us to find, see the journey, see the vision, see exactly what's going on in real time, all the time. And then what can you do with those three things? And in my opinion, at the end of the day, it's all about quality. Mm. So if everything's about quality, because remember, no quality, no clients. So then well, well, what are those key three things? And for us, quality is three things. It's training, monitoring and inspecting. Okay, mm. so training, how do you do that? You can train through SWEPT. And people are like, well, how the heck are you doing that? Well, you're training through photos. Well, how? Hey team, amazing job. By the way, we forgot to wear gloves. Oops, yeah. that's part of the training process. Okay, so how are we monitoring those photos? Well, number one, did somebody show up? <laughs> you know, SWEPT allows us to go ahead and see geofences, create geofences, um, know that, get alerts and saying, oh yeah, the team is here. See the photos that the team was there, yep. right? You know, and then 
monitoring is a huge, huge piece of that because you have to monitor the technology. Unfortunately, it doesn't run itself, right? There's a lot of automation. Yeah, a software is a tool. And I think a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to buy some software and it's going to fix everything. It's like, it's not. I wish, I wish. And you know what? It, it, it's And something really, really important, Michael, is this, is that you can have the best technology in the world too, or maybe even not. But it's not about that. It's how are you using your technology and totally. are you using it the right way? And the reason why I say is swept is definitely, in my opinion, again, by far one of the best technologies is because not only is it amazing and simple to use, but you're able to create different types of systems on it. Yeah. And you have to kind of know how to use it in order to customize anything, whether it's a service that you want. Because we started using your technology for maintenance, construction, oh, yeah. floor services. And I remember when we were talking to you guys, right? Like, what the heck are you guys doing over there? Well, yeah, it was like, no, it's not built for this. It's built for janitorial. You're <laughs> right. like, no, actually, let me show you. This is how we're using it. It's because you've, you know, intelligently leveraged a piece of software to work with your company instead of, you know, getting stuck by it or seeing limitations and, you know, it's a mop and bucket, right? It's, it's the same kind of thing. You can have yeah. dirty water or clean water, you know, what chemical it's like, it's how you go about using that tool. Using that tool. Exactly right. Cause a lot of companies, especially if they're smaller, right? So let's just say you're either micro, small, small, a small size company, or maybe even medium. A lot of times they're, you're getting to know yourself, like right under that mm. 1.5 or million dollar uh, revenue is what they say. By the way, I don't believe in those numbers, but you know, let's say someone says they're under five employees or 10 employees, which in my opinion, you should be using that technology. Yeah. But you're finding your way as a company, as a leader, as a manager. Yeah. And what, will, what happens is when you're finding your way, you're like, am I supposed to do what the technology does? Or is the technology supposed to be telling me what to do? So yeah. you're finding your way, right? Do the, yeah. through that process. And then once you start getting bigger and you're like, okay, now I can really tone in on this. Yeah. And then you're like, bam, I got it. Simple examples, when you're kind of getting your driver's license, the car is kind of taking control of you. You don't have a very good understanding yep. of the car. You're learning how to brake, how to learn turn signals, how to really get to do that. And all of a sudden now, after years go by, you're using this car, like you're whipping around turns and all of a sudden you're Mario Andretti and yep. you're an amazing car driver, right? It's kind of the same thing. You should be in the driver's seat and then once you learn it, then you can master it. And then yep. once you master it, that's when the fun things come and come to happen. Yep. Absolutely. And then you keep adding. So you see this with a lot of companies. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for software. They have five cleaners and they have 10, 15. Michael, and now when, they have no process is, What's in place. their definition of being ready to? Yeah. Oh, listen, that's like saying, oh, I, oh, yes, I am ready to have kids. When is anybody ready to be a dad? When is everybody to be a mom? Like, yeah. is there a ready date? I, I'm sorry, but I don't really believe in that. Yeah. It's like when... You know, and, and I know that's like, again, the adoption rate and being able to understand and trying to be ready. That's a tough question to ask. And in my opinion, it's when are you open minded and when are you willing to learn and take chances and risks in life? Yeah. And guess what? If you try the technology, it doesn't work. Maybe not now. It might. It might in six months or a year or two yeah. or three years from now. So it truly, truly depends on are you open minded to learning to trying to do new different things? Yeah. I think that I think that's really it. And, you know, and, and I, I you can use this technology and your technology, whether you have three or four or five people or more, you know, maybe, for example, like the micro type of companies and, you know, maybe a husband and wife is an example or maybe a father, a son. And I've seen, you know, yep. or a daughter and mom and they have that. And OK, if, if you're just you two, maybe you might not need it. You know, maybe that might be a little bit small. Yep. But once you start getting and this is my personal opinion, yep. once you start getting to four or five people, well, that means you probably have multiple locations. Okay, yeah. you're going to want to start thinking of how do we manage time? How do we make sure people are doing their jobs? Yeah. How do we train, monitor and inspect? That's awesome. Thanks, Ben. Thank That's you. Great. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate you.